All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is gonna to be a fun one. If you haven't seen some of my cruise videos before, you have to check it out, you'll see. I've been on a few ships before, but I've never made a video on how to decorate your cruise door. So I thought that maybe if you're searching and you wanted to see how I do it, here you go, here's your cheat sheet. I'll show you the step-by-step -step process and let's have some fun. All right, so here's the before. This is how your door is on typical good to know is that they're always magnetic so you can have those magnetic clips which i do have you'll see them and you just have to kind of cut around bring a little pair of scissors to cut around the doorknob and then you'll see where the uh, peephole is and you'll cut around that rather than that the world is your oyster you'll be able to decorate whatever float your boat whatever you think is fun You'll see how we chose ours. Uh, this trip that we're taking is right before Christmas, so I did a Christmas theme one. Um, but if you're in the middle of the summer, you can do like sandals or butterflies or seascapes, whatever. Or maybe if you have a certain um, occasion, like an anniversary or wedding or something like that, you can do that type of theme. Well, let's get started. All right, so if you're fit anything like me, you like to prep, and if you wanna know, Prior to getting on the ship, what the dimensions are, I just took them and leaving a little bit of room to put tape on the sides where it's inconspicuous. It's 26 inches wide by 76 inches tall. So, and the reason why I'm saying this is because I'm having to cut sheets of this wrapping paper to accommodate a 26 by 76 inch door. Uh, you could pre-cut the sheets at home and not have to bring a whole roll of tape or a whole roll of uh, wrapping paper. You can have it already pre-cut and it'll be uh, time chain, uh, time saving, I should say, and um, make the process go quicker for you. All right, so step one complete. There you go, I got the full door. As you can see, I left a little bit of a gap because the tape had to be there. You wanna make sure you, use, you can remove it really quick when you uh, leave on the last day of your cruise. Leave no trace, people. You don't wanna ruin it for everybody and damage the door and then they make up some sort of rule that you can't decorate doors anymore. So do your best to make sure that you don't leave any residue. Um, but yeah, the hardest part of this was just cutting around here, which is pretty simple. And then I still got to basically find out where the peephole is and just cut around there and then tape it. Not too hard, let's keep going. All right, so step two was putting garland around. And I just used two full strands from the Dollar Tree. Um, and it did pretty well. It pretty much covered it all. And I just taped it up like every six inches, just tape it and kind of lift. The, so your door would open up and not have crazy pieces falling all over the ground they'd have to clean up and then magnets don't forget magnets I'm not done yet though I still got a little bit of lights to do and some signs with a cork board so let me keep going all right so I had to duck out we had a dinner reservation at 5 30 in the main dining highly recommend y'all to utilize that instead of going up to the wind jammer Always choose the main dining if you can, because you get sit down service, the food's really good, the desserts, and you can order multiples of things. You don't have to get just one item. You can double up one item. So keep that in mind. It'll be in another video if you want to check it out. But this video is all about the door. So anyhow, so got this put where I'm from Houston. So we are going for our Houston Cougars, who's number one in the nation currently and our Astros. Yes, we won without cheating this year, so don't even start in the comment section. Uh, got this dry erase board so people can make some funny comments or thank you for the candies or hello from whatever city they're in. And then I got some extras and then these lights, which are really cool. They're just like those little tea lights and boom, it has different features and I just gotta mount this with one of these magnetic like holders onto the t um, door so it'll make it really go crazy look at that thing really cool feature you can buy them on amazon for fairly cheap so let me keep going put this up and then i got a ton of candy inside the room that'll make a big mix have a sweet cruise 
And a little side note is while you're decorating your door, it acts as a catalyst that everybody walking down the hallway, if you like to socialize and meet people, you'll meet everybody because everybody will stop and say hello to you and thank them for the, or thank you for taking the time to decorate and especially with the candy and everything else. And a lot of these families with kids, they roll their eyes for half a second, but then they're like, okay, well, if they're being good. I'll give them some candy. So that gives them a reason to have their kids get a little bit disciplined and make sure they stay on course. But let's keep going. All right, here's the next step. Put that up. I tried using like super glue and thinking that it would attach to the actual paper, but it ended up not even working weirdly enough. But um, so I guess the glitter doesn't stick to super glue very well and it did not attach. So I had to use basically packing shipping tape clear and it worked really good. This had double-sided tape and I just put it on the back and press, but I also added along the edge just to be safe you know how maybe there'll be kids that don't know what they're doing and yank it off accidentally so try to prevent that here's where all the candy's gonna go and i don't know if you could see but these magnets underneath kind of support it and i also put some tape along here because i'm thinking the weight of the candy would have really just made it slide down if i just had it see i have magnets but the magnets they, the weight of the candy would have just kept sliding down. So I had secured the weight on the bottom and then taped it. And then I still got to put the lights on, fill in the candy, maybe put a fun note on the board to say hello from Houston, say hello or something to that effect. But I think it's looking pretty good. Y'all tell me in the comments, if there's anything I missed, anything I should do next time, but let's get the lights on, mount it and see what the next go around looks like all right y'all check this out so I mounted the little box with, with the little hook and these I don't know if you can see the back of this magnet but it works a hell of a lot better than this one from the dollar store so I don't know what these are called like earth magnets or what but if y'all could find ones like that because See how hard it is? It really supports a lot of weight. The other ones, not so much. So I used one of those to hang the box for the lights. I'm sure if you really wanted to, you could just tape it, but if you wanna use it again and not have to get tape residue everywhere, I just did that. And then I just used the regular like shipping packing tape for presents everywhere on the real thin wire. Just tape it everywhere along the garland and kind of tuck it in underneath. And the reflective garland really pops with the lights. You could choose whatever color you want, obviously, but we chose silver. And I'm just gonna write a note on the board, fill up the candy. And I think we got a pretty cool looking door. And like I said, everybody just stops by and you get to meet all your neighbors. It's a really cool experience if you're social and everything like that. Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. If you like this video, please hit the like. It lets people on YouTube find it with the algorithm and perhaps it'll be a snowball effect and a lot of other people on cruises will decorate their doors and it'll be a fun experience for everybody. So yeah, I think I got enough stockpiled here. What do you think guys? This is all for seven days. I didn't want to be the guy that ran out so I'll add a little bit, probably every four hours for the whole trip, make it a nice mix so it's adult and kid friendly on picks. But yeah, let's fill it up. And in case you're still watching, here's the view of walking down. Little dry erase board, filled it up. How fun is that? I know this van, van they have going on because they had a leak, plumbing leak, and they're having to dry it out. But that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. If you like other cruise videos and you want to see some port calls, etc., that I did, feel free to subscribe.
So this is good.